How's it going, everybody? Rob here, back with a, another video for you guys. And, well, we are going to be doing a, another video. This time, focusing on another episode for uh, Fallout from Amazon Prime. And, uh, this is uh, episode 5, The Past. It was directed by Claire uh, Kilner, written by... Carson Mel, Graham Wagner, uh, Geneva Robertson Durest. Hopefully I said that correctly. And, um, okay, this was, uh, I will say this is an interesting, interesting episode. It kind of starts off with, uh, Maximus kind of revealing who he is. And then inevitably getting stuck in his, uh, his power armor. Um... And by the way, in terms of events, I'm going to focus on what's going on on the surface with some of our characters and then focusing on the vault. Because um, it's two separate kind of plot lines. So, yeah. Um, Maximus de reveals who he is. Um, he tries to kill Thaddeus when Thaddeus kind of like freaks out about what happened, or at least the revelation. And Thaddeus quickly, while. Maximus is still in his power armor, pulls the fusion core, and leaves him stuck. Um, eventually, he is saved by Lucy, who, and when we see her, is not looking too good. She actually ends up uh, throwing up and passing out due to radiation poisoning. So, he ends up saving her. And they kind of agree to help each other in terms of uh, you know, kind of completing their, their goals. Um, we do have a, a, a interesting interaction with, um, uh, or at least they, they're trying to like, you know, bounce off each other in terms of like, you know, what's been going on and Lucy kind of more and more feeling distraught on the surface, like in, in terms of like one interaction where they come across two people and at first, um, they are trying to like diffuse the situation where they can get out safely, but only realize that they came across two people that like to, you know, to like to cannibalize other individuals. So that's fun. Um, event, uh, during the, during the confrontation, Maximus grabs, uh, Lucy's gun and shoots the two, uh, perpetrators, but ends up getting shot himself and ends up getting injured. And eventually, we do get a snippet of his past when uh, they reach a, uh, a crater. And we see a, a, cuts, a, a kind of scene that we saw in uh, one of the earlier episodes. So, they do end up having to go to find, a ho find a hospital to see if there's any supplies because Maximus's wound uh, does affect him greatly. And, um, towards the end, they stumble upon another one of the vaults. So that's pretty cool. Now, going further, going, focusing on more of the stuff with the vault. Uh, Norm, Lucy's brother, is kind of looking into what's been going on in terms of, you know, the people who are voted as overseer for 33 as well as everyone who is overseer coming from vault 31 and even though nobody's seen anybody from vault 31 they're trying to figure out what's going on so inevitably uh, they also have a, a, a i guess a vote to who becomes the next vote overseer and sure enough um the character uh, betty she gets voted and as Norm has kind of noticed, Betty is also from Vault 31. And inevitably, um, she gets voted as Overseer. Just like the pattern with every other Overseer in the past. Now, uh, following up and kind of being very discreet about his findings, um, they do end up, ha or at least Betty comes to uh, uh, kind of sets up something for some of the, the characters in the vault 
where they're going to take Vault 32 that has been ransacked and destroyed to be repurposed by, I guess, separating half of the Vault Dwellers from Vault 33 to Vault, 40, uh, Vault 32, so that way each one can be utilized. So, all in all, really interesting. I'm very, very curious of what's going to happen next. A lot's been going on. A lot has been going on. And I gotta say, I have been enjoying the show very much so. Um, it, it just, I, I will say, it just continues to impress me. It really does. So, man, if there, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I could talk about in terms of, you know, the, the show itself. Because like I said, it, it keeps getting better and better. It really, really does. Um, I guess if anything, like talking about characters too, um, where especially for like Lucy and Maximus, them kind of having to trust each other and their abilities as well as, you know, just trusting and trusting each other in general. There's a really funny line from uh, um, from Lucy, like after they after Maximus kills the fiends, and he mentions the fact that they're cannibals. She's just like, you can see like how hurt she is, where she's like, oh, I hate this place, and then oh, another great scene is uh. They come across a billboard, and it says, The New California Republic. And Lucy becomes kind of distraught by this. Because she's told that, um, you know, the Volts uh, looks forward to recollection. I think it was called Recollec uh, Recollection, I think, Day. Um, hopefully I said it correctly. If not, then I'm sorry. But, um... In terms of that, that's when the Vault Dwellers will go to the surface and inevitably um, try to reestablish government. But she's she finds out that in terms of this this supposed day that's supposed to happen, you know, government or people have come and gone, and this whole idea of, of the um, recollection day has been kind of absent I do I do find it funny when you have like Maximus well if it makes you feel any better it didn't work out so well <laughs> so I thought that was great so where do I I, I want to I'm trying to figure out where to put this on the scale in terms of like my enjoyment you know what I'm gonna give this I want to give this a uh, 8 out of 10 honestly I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to watch. It has its moments. Um, there's a little bit of character building between Lucy and Maximus. Um, though I, I, I feel like certain things are going to bite him in the ass. Like not tell, being completely truthful with her. Um, I'm not going to explain why. Please watch the episode. And I'm kind of curious what comes next now that you know they have entered a new vault. So, 8 out of 10. I absolutely enjoyed it. So, uh, with that, though, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end the video here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed my little uh, my little review. If you guys can, please like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. If you guys want to follow us on social media, links are in the description down below. As well as check out our daily content and the weekly podcast. With that being said, this is Rob Nethercast signing off. Have a good one. Take care. And I will see you guys next video. Thank you.